the ends of the earth fainted not. Neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up upon wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. It is good to be here in the house of God on the Lord's day.
here. We want to talk to John the Baptist, uh, the forerunner of Christ. When we get there, Lord, uh, someone say uh, we want to act, talk to Abraham, the father of the faithful, David, uh, the great God of life. Paul on the dramatic road, but most of all, most of all, we want to see Jesus. The lead of the valley, the private morning star, Mary's baby, Jehovah's son, oh Lord, James L. Brother, you know, Lord, thank you.
still was alive. Ain't no danger in God's morning. Get on the ship. Get on the ship. It's failing. Up to the 25 years, God has been gratefully blessing this association. Honored to have the opportunity of doing what my part is right now. But I'll tell you one thing. God is really showing up in here today. And I always tell folks, if you want to get a tough stain out, shout it out. Of the hour, 
who's just glad to be here. Yes. And it's celebrating yes. Yes. in 125 years. Look at it. Look at Amen. It. Bring it a pass. Yes. Credging the present. Shaping the future. Yes. Now I know most of you were here, amen, a long time before I was in this association. But I'm here to just tell you the stories that I heard leading up to the time that I was here. Okay. 125 years. The time they had to label. The time they came together. And they purchased, I mean, this old school right here. It's tied into this building right now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Told the story how they come together, just a few churches, mm -hmm. and how it began to grow. Yeah. I'm told the story how they had wood heat. Yeah. And to put up a petition in the church. But they still came together and learned and gave God free. Yeah. But I remember, even over there, there was time, things like those heaters wouldn't have work. But we still came together right. and gave God glory. Yes. I remember when we had to go down the steps to a small dining area. But we still had church. We still fellowship one with another. And we got to remember the past. Where God had brought us from. Yes. What God had done for us. Yes. And no, amen. We don't want to go back, but we can't forget where we come from. Yes. We see to celebrate the great things that God had done. Yes. And be present the present. All right. What God is doing right now. Yes. We can look around and say, look what the Lord had done. Yes. And we're not here talking about brick and mortar. But we talk about how God has blessed us. How God has strengthened us. How God made ways out of doors. And allowed us to come together. Amen. In a study like this. Many of the old patriarchs and saints had gone on. Amen. And I remember so many that have laid the path. And that because of them, we're here on the day to celebrate. Yes. Amen. And now, amen, as we're here to celebrate and credit the present, mm -hmm. amen, we're shaping the future. Because how many know that God is not through? Yes. God got so much for us. Yes. Amen. So I remember when, yes. amen, we come together over there at that small church. Amen. But we still gave God glory. We still gave God praise. And they helped shape us for a time like this. Amen. In a time like this, they helped shape us. Amen. For our future. Amen. So we got to learn how to appreciate the great things that God had done. Now I'm to read this one verse. Amen. First Chronicle, the 16th chapter. Amen. It said, Seek the, Amen. The 16th chapter. In the 11th verse. Amen. It says, Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Yes. Amen. This is how we celebrate. Yes. And we're going to bring back to remember the great thing that God had done for us. Yes. Amen. We continue to seek the strength of God. Lord, continue to lead us and guide us. Yes. It is our moderator always say, Lord, make us one. Yes. Amen. Make us one yes. in you. Yes. So I remember. Amen. What God had done down through the years. Yeah. Amen. When we're excited about where God is taking us. Right. Amen. How many are excited about where God is taking us? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We're excited about where God has taken us. Yeah. Amen. And David, amen, when they brought the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. Amen. Remember when, how God brought them out. How God fought on their by hand. How God brought them through the valley and brought them over the mountain. Amen. We got to remember, amen, the presence of the Lord is what got us here. And the presence of the Lord is keeping up right now. And the presence of the Lord got to take up where God wanted to go. Amen. So when you start getting down and out, get remember. Amen. Somebody said, well, I just started thinking about the goodness of Jesus. And all that he has done for me. My very soul turns out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. But yes, I was remembering the great thing. Amen. That God had done for you. Yeah. Amen. In the 
push you up where God wants you to go. God bless you and help you out of prison. Yes, to you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We honor our moderator today, Brother Chance, Pastor Chance, first and second fight, uh, moderator Pastor Black, Pastor Lindsay, and to all of you that are here this evening. Look at your neighbor and say, it's good to be here. Praise the Lord. I tell you, great in the Lord and great in the we pray. The atmosphere is just right. Whatever you need this evening. Oh my God. The atmosphere is just right. It's about, it's about that far above your head. Come on, lift your hand up for God.
Lord today. For we joyfully proclaim that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Will you help me uh, thank and thank God and celebrate our moderator. Moderator tonight. To our vice moderators, to the presiding officer today. Bless you. To all of the pastors of uh, the leadership of this uh, middle ground association and churches. Amen. To all my brothers and sisters, I'm happy to greet you this afternoon uh, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. It is good for us to be here. Amen. Yes. The Lord is still blessing us right now. Uh, the choir has already reminded us that or even if I didn't get a new car, he still woke me up this morning. And started me all in way. God bless your heart. You may be seated in the presence of, of the Lord. I'm just grateful and honored uh, by uh, the invitation to come and share with you as you celebrate 125 years yeah. as an association. Amen. You've come a long way. 125 years. I, I'm listening to the history. You've come a long ways. And so we know that if it had not been for the Lord on our side, amen. Amen. So we're grateful uh, for uh, this privilege. We have some folk on a Saturday. Amen. Amen. Coming out to association celebration on a Saturday. And you got to turn around. You got to turn around and go back to church on tomorrow as well. Amen. So uh, we are grateful. You already know that I'm going to be as long-winded as I am tall. So it won't take long. It, it, won't, it won't take long. It won't take long. Uh, Pastor Hyman already uh, noted uh, 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 my height uh, issues and, uh, and uh, uh, he talked about a chair that he had in the office and that uh, I wouldn't fit it. I wasn't you know, tall enough to fit the chair uh, at home. He already told me about it. That's him. That's him. Yeah, yeah. And I, I heard him ask the moderator about, or some, uh, one of the preachers about, a step that somebody used to preach on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. And, uh, and so I thought, I thought this podium was going to be much taller when I got out of here. And so I'm grateful. I am grateful. But since uh, he's right, I asked the moderator to turn this um, this uh, monitor. Uh, just a little bit to adjust the short folk and, uh, and, uh, and I'm going to ask uh, somebody to just push it out just a little bit more this way. So yes, just the best that can be. Yeah, well, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, have to make adjustments, have to make adjustments for uh, the height requirement uh, that we have uh, today. God bless your heart. Uh, we're glad to have a certain amount of peace uh, with us today. And uh, we're thankful for their sacrifices uh, each and every time we've called them. And uh, they've gone with us. And so we're grateful. Uh, we have some ministers from our peace uh, with us today, some in the choir, but all of our ministers, will you stand now, peace ministers? Will you stand? God bless your heart. All right. God bless your deacons and trustees. I know we've had, we have some of them maybe in the choir too. All right. Good deacons and trustees. Deaconess and church mothers. Deaconess and church mothers. All right. All right. Thank you. 
Golden girls and boys of Mount Peace. Golden girls came in and came to Mount Peace. And the rest of Just a little while uh, from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And I want to lift verses 1 through 4 for you hearing this afternoon. And thank God for this wonderful music ministry. chapter 15 verses 1 through 4 Amen. Amen You will find these words Moreover brethren I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you which also ye have received and wherein ye stand by which also ye are saved if you keep in memory what I preach unto you unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Amen. I want to talk about our story, our story, our story. We have a story to tell. Amen. Thank God that you've been telling this story for 125 years. Thank God for our story. Let's pray. Of the Lord, our story. 
our story. A beautiful dark-eyed uh, Jewish girl uh, probed into the validity of our faith and our conviction uh, when she asked, why must you Christians always be sending missionaries out to convert the rest of the world? She wanted to know, why do you insist that yours is the only valid religion? Uh, why can't you worship quietly as others do, satisfied with your own devotions? Uh, think about it, if you will. Uh, where do we get the audacity to tell the rest of the world that we have not an answer, but we have the answer to their problems? Uh, where do we get the nerve to tell them that we have not a way, but we have the way to heaven. Uh, what right do we have to tell men, women, boys, and girls that the cross is the only way to God? Uh, is it because we have the best systems of morals and ethics? No, no, no. Uh, is it because we are better organized and worldwide in our influence? No, no, no. Or is it because we really do have a supernatural message and a supernatural experience with God? Uh, well, well, we must be honest uh, in saying that many of the world's great religions contains truths that are preached by the Christian church. Uh, we've got to be honest in acknowledging that some of the finest men who ever walked the face of the earth were leaders and followers of some of those ancient religions. Uh, but but why, 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 we've got to be honest in saying that uh, some of those religions have good qualities and great goals. Uh, but then what is the difference? Uh, what is it that set us apart? It, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Well, let's look at some of the leaders, if you will, and i get you out of here. Uh, in 551 BC, Confucius was born of ancient and distinguished parents in China. Uh, his brilliance and intellectual sensitivity were uh, noticed at an early age, and even uh, while a young man, he was a much sought after public teacher. Uh, he was well liked, he was respected, and he even had many governmental offices and titles in his day. Yeah. Uh, but in the year 479 BC, well, well, Confucius well. died. <laughs> I, I knew that I was coming by middle ground today, so I just checked. Uh, to find out if, uh, uh, if the status had changed. I want you to know that uh, as of this Saturday, he's still dead. Well, well, Buddha, Buddha was born in northern India in 557 BC. Uh, he was a pessimistic searcher. He was a disheartened philosopher. Uh, he finally developed his four great truths and uh, his eightfold path into so-called eternal life. Uh, he acquired a distinctive following during his lifetime and has since he has commanded the adoration of millions of people. Yeah, but in 483 BC, Buddha died. Uh, and like I did with Confucius, I had to make sure that his status was still the same. And, and as of this morning, yeah, the truth of the matter is, Buddha is still dead. Uh, 
Can, can I give you one more? Yeah. In AD 570, a child was born who was destined to become a spiritual leader of a great host of people known as the Muslims. Uh, he had many youthful visions and when uh, he was about 40 years old, he had his most famous vision near the city of Mecca. Uh, you already know that Mecca is still considered the capital of their faith today. Uh, he extended his religion by the sword and he won many converts by his holy wars. Uh, but in 632, yeah, Muhammad died. Uh, I, I, got a, I got a word for all of the followers of Muhammad. Yeah, that as of this morning, yeah, the truth of the matter is, as of right now, Muhammad is still dead. Uh, uh, my brothers and sisters, I did not come here to talk about Muhammad. I did not come here to talk about Buddha. I did not come here to talk about Confucius. Uh, can I tell you our story? Uh, almost 2,000 years ago, an infant was born. A baby was born in a manger uh, in the city of Bethlehem. Uh, why was he born and how did he get here? I'm glad you asked. Uh, you better ask his mother, Mary. Well, Mary, I heard that this was not Joseph's child. Uh, Mary could say, I'm happy to report, Mary Brown, that for once you heard it through the grapevine, and the grapevine was wrong. He's not Joseph's child. Uh, the Holy Ghost did. I, I tell you, when he was born, he was older than his mother. Yeah, but he was just as old as his father. Uh, somebody said that he came from a nothing happening city. Uh, that's why the question was asked, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Yeah, yeah, he had nothing down here for, didn't he say, the foxes have holes. Uh -huh, the birds of the air have their nests. Uh, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. Uh, as a baby, he startled the king. Yeah, as a child, he amazed the doctors and the lawyers. Uh, as a man, he ruled the course of nature. Uh, somebody said he hushed the sea to sleep. Uh, he walked on the water. Uh, he healed the sick without medicine. He gave the sight to the blind. And he fed 5,000 hungry men, uh, not counting the women and the children. Uh, can I tell you our story? Uh, he excited the hearts and changed the lives of a handful of people. Uh, Matthew met him and said, he is the promised Messiah. Uh, Mark said, I met him and he is a man of action. Uh, Luke said, I met him and he is uh, the savior of the world. John said, I met him and he is God in the flesh. Uh, do I have a witness in the field? He was a marvelous child. Uh, he was a sturdy youth. Uh, he was a masterful preacher. Uh, he was King. I tell you, there was none like this man. 
a breeze. He might be little in stature, but he was a powerful man. He died. And the good thing about his death, he died that we may have a right. And we might have a right. And we might have a right. He died. He died for me. And he died. This moment I, I feel like I've been on the road of the man. Getting out of our heart, right? Wow, the preacher brought forth the word of God. He died. He died in the church. While we were yet, he died for all of us. Yes, maybe there's somebody here. Is he that don't know you in the part of you? Maybe there was somebody that hit his hand in his hand and you let go. But he died that you were hooked back up and hit this evening. Not the power of this evening. We'll have one in the house. We'll have one in the house that want to surrender like a man like that. Hey man, get not our heart burn. Yeah. 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 Yeah.